This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we're going to do a one-year review of the Mimo app. About a year ago, we did a review of this app when it was only a few days old. We thought it had a lot of potential and it would have been good for kids to start learning about uh, programming. Um, and today we're going to kind of go back and see uh, how they've improved and, and to see if we, s we still think it's a good app uh, for your kids to use. So first thing you're going to notice is that their design has changed, so uh, more colorful, more interesting design uh, than they initially had. Um, also, you'll see that their course content has a lot more stuff in it. Uh, last time, there was a lot of things that said coming soon, but it looks like they filled all those in. Uh, also, we have tracks here, so uh, they bundled together courses that they believe you should take in order to master a certain skill. All right. So, a um, couple problems I have with this app. Uh, number one is their content is not very deep. So, um, going through this, um, I don't believe you would be very proficient at all in in any of the languages or or applications that they're teaching you about um, just by going through these courses. Um, it's very light, like s very, very light, um, very uh, introductory. Um, I like you can probably go through this whole HTML course in, in like a few hours and, and learn all this stuff. Um, but I wouldn't think that you would be a master at HTML at the end of, of doing this. You, you, you would not be very uh, knowledgeable, knowledgeable about about what HTML is and how to do stuff. Um, other problem is that they still haven't introduced any way to type into the app, so um, it's going to be a lot of select clicking on buttons and dragging and dropping. Um, there are some courses in here that that tell you to go open your computer and open a text editor there and do all the work there so basically at that point the app becomes uh, a reference and you're doing all the work on your computer um, which I don't find that useful if, if you're trying to use the app itself for for learning um, and then the other problem is the their kind of pricing structure so um, let me show you what they're charging here so it says uh, 417 a month, but you're gonna get charged $50 a year. Um, $50 for a year of this. Um, I don't like. I said the c amount of content that you're getting out of this is not very much, so I don't believe you're gonna be using this for more than a, f a few weeks at most um, to to learn anything. Um, so I think that's a big waste right there. Um, I I definitely would not pay, um, and even doing the trial like the free free trial um, that or the free version that I'm doing right now you can't get very far you can do like the first lesson of a few of the courses um, so you can see I can do beginning HTML but anything else is locked up until I pay for it so you get you don't get a good feel of of what what the co course is going to be like um, without without paying for it and and I think fifty dollars is pretty cheap um, Honestly, I think a better uh, way to go would be to go on Udemy, um, find find a specific course that you you want to learn about, um, and then use the use the Udemy app, um, or or just uh, use it from your computer um, if you want. Um, you're going to learn a lot more uh, from that. Um, it's only going to cost you if you get it during like a coupon time. It's only going to cost you about ten bucks uh, for it, and you have lifetime access to it instead of paying fifty dollars for for a year, um, and and you're not getting that much uh, information out of it. So uh, for now, Mimo, I'm going to have to not recommend you, um, and I I'm hopefully you guys can improve and make your content more rich in the future. So so I can recommend you, but at this time. Uh, it's it's going to be a big thumbs down. All right. Thanks. This is Jason. See ya.